Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland, has repeated her warning that if the UK leaves the single market, not just the EU, but the single market, she'll push for a second referendum on independence. Speaking to Andrew Marr earlier this morning, Ms Sturgeon said she would not hesitate to protect Scotland's economic interests. There's a fundamental principle here about, you know, does Scotland's voice matter? Do, does what we think and what we say and how we vote count for anything? And that's what's going to be put to the test, I think, in the next weeks and months. And Theresa May and perfectly legitimately says she values the UK. Mm. She wants to keep the UK together. In the independence referendum, Scotland was told uh, repeatedly it was an equal partner in the UK. You know, my message really to the Prime Minister, it's, it's now time to prove these things and to demonstrate to Scotland that our voice does count within the UK and our interests can be protected. Because if that's okay. not the case, then I think Scotland would have the right to decide whether it wanted to follow a different path. And I'm joined now by the Secretary of State for Scotland, David Mundell. Welcome to the Sunday Politics. Good morning. During the Scottish referendum campaign two years ago, the Better Together campaign repeatedly claimed that the only guaranteed way for Scotland to remain in the EU was to stay in the UK. That turned out to be untrue. untrue. You're the people of Scotland an apology. That's uh, not the full uh, facts, Andrew. It was made quite clear during uh, the, the referendum in Scotland that there could be an EU uh, referendum. My colleague Ruth Davidson, for example, on many occasions made it clear that people in Scotland would have the opportunity to vote whether or not they remained in the EU. What was clear in that referendum, and indeed you played a significant part in highlighting it in your, uh, uh, your questioning of Alex Salmon, was that those who were advocating a yes vote could not set out a clear route for Scotland to get into the EU no, as an independent they nation. If they stayed in the UK, then they would be, then they would, that was their best route to remaining in Europe. And well, it turned out, I put it to you again, it's obvious, that's untrue. It was a, a, a route which meant that there was going to be an EU referendum. That was made very clear throughout that. People voted in Scotland and voted decisively to remain part of the United Kingdom in the full knowledge that there would be an EU referendum on whether the United Kingdom sure. remained but in the EU. And that's what the vote on the 23rd of June in Scotland was about. It was not about Scotland remaining in the EU. It was about the United right, Kingdom remaining just in the EU. Yeah, but it comes with a background. The people of Scotland were told to vote for the Union to be sure of staying in the UK. They did. They also voted 62% to 38% to stay in the EU. Now they're being dragged out against their will. Surely that alone is grounds for a second Scottish referendum. I, I don't accept that analysis. I was one of the 62% who voted to remain in the EU, but I didn't do so on the basis that if I didn't get my own uh, way, that Scotland would be dragged out of the United Kingdom. We've had a vote, which was, uh, we were told, a once-in-a-generation vote as to whether uh, Scotland remained part of the United Kingdom. That There was a decisive result in that vote. On the vote. assumption that we would also remain part of the EU, so a major change has no, taken place. I, I, don't, uh, I, I don't accept that analysis. People were aware that there was going to be a, a vote uh, on uh, whether the United Kingdom remained in the EU. As you know, I mean, the reasons for Scotland remaining in the United Kingdom were overwhelmingly economic. And those are the same issues that there are today in relation to the UK single market. If I mean, I find it very odd that people who are very, very concerned about the EU single market are quite willing to give up the UK single well, market, which is four times as valuable to Scotland and responsible for a million jobs. If Scotland. the Scottish Parliament demands another referendum, would the British government grant it? Well, what we've said, and, and the, the, the position's quite clear, is that the UK government would, would have to agree to there being a, a referendum. Yeah, I know that. So That's why it's I'm a asking could. you, would you it's grant a, it? Of course, there could be another referendum, but we want to argue that there shouldn't be another referendum. We believe that the decision has been made and that it's now in Scotland's best interest that the two governments work together, right. the Team UK approach, to get the best possible right, deal for in, Scotland if in, in the the end, the Scottish Parliament decides we don't like the terms of Brexit. We want a referendum now on deciding whether we are part of this. 
would you grant it? For there to be a referendum, there would, as there was previously, there would have to be an agreement between the two governments in the same form. That's why I'm uh, asking, in the same would you form, grant it? In the same form as the Edinburgh Agreement. The great shame of the Edinburgh Agreement, which the SNP used to quote repeatedly, is of course that they have not adhered to it because a fundamental right. part I'm of that was that both sides right. respected the result. Vote. Viewers will have noticed you haven't really answered my question, but let, let's move to another one. Could Scotland remain inside the single market in Europe as part of the Brexit process? I've said from the outset that we would listen to any proposals uh, that the Scottish Government brought forward in relation to uh, Scotland's interests. We've had four months, there's no specific proposals have come forward. Nicola Sturgeon's this morning talking about having uh, proposals, but at this moment I see it impossible, for example, that Scotland could remain within the EU whilst the rest of the UK it could it remain left. within the single and market? I think it would be difficult to see how that could be uh, achieved. But I've said before, we'll listen to any proposals uh, that the Scottish Government bring forward in relation to achieving the best interests of Scotland. But I'm still yeah. and absolutely convinced that Scotland's best interests are being as part of the United Kingdom that, in you, or out of the you EU. You praised Scotland's membership of the single market during the referendum. You praised it. Uh, on March of, of uh, this year, you talked about the access it gave us, secures jobs, vital to tourism, industry, inbound visitors, all the rest of it. So why wouldn't you work to maintain it for Scotland? I agree uh, with a, uh, the benefits that Scotland has received from the single market, but we're in a different situation now. The UK is negotiating its exit from the EU. As the Prime Minister has said, it's not going to be on the basis of existing arrangements. It's going to be on the basis of a new and unique arrangement for the United Kingdom. And within that, obviously, we want to secure the best trading arrangements for Scottish okay. businesses. Are you prepared to grant to look at Scotland, given the way it voted and given the history we've just gone through, there would have a, a special post-Brexit status. That we leave the EU, but Scotland would have a distinct status within that formula. I'm willing to look at any proposal uh, that's right. brought forward that takes forward Scotland's interests. But in the four months since Brexit, we've had no specifics uh, from the Scottish Government. They say now that they have them. Of course, no, we'll look at. Of course, that of course, we'll. We haven't specifics uh, from uh, your government we'll, on course, how we're going to lead. Uh, so it's a we'll bit look, rum to attack the Scottish Government. The principle is, could Scotland have a special position and would you help that or not? I would further Scotland's interests and I'm willing to right. listen to any proposal that's brought forward. Will fish and farming go back to Edinburgh? Well, obviously, the devolution settlements are going to be uh, changed because yeah, well, of... Brussels issues because in Do of they the go to Edinburgh or to London? Well, there'll be a debate and discussion about that. We're at the beginning, <laughs> you, you of, that, the beginning of that process. I, I, I want to make sure that we get the best arrangements well, for that, Scotland. Surely that goes for without Scotland. saying. I think you can't we, answer we, we, whether fish we, we and farming want, go we, back. We want to listen to what fishermen and farmers say. We want to listen to what the people of Scotland right. uh, have to say on this issue. There will you. be a package uh, of arrangements clearly oh, right. that need to be taken forward as ask, a result of leaving right. the EU. Let me ask you one final question. If the Scottish Nationalist MPs vote against grammar schools, which are purely for England, isn't that proof that your English votes for English laws isn't working and you have to look at it again? What it demonstrates is that all MPs still have the opportunity in Parliament to vote on all issues and actually shoots the fox of the SNP. So you wouldn't, mind if, claimed, voted, you wouldn't mind if they voted to stop of, grammar of schools? Course, of course I would mind, but I wouldn't be surprised because every vote that they cast in Parliament is entirely opportunistic so at gaining attention and trying to... Are you going to beef up English votes or English laws or not? I think that we've got the balance right in relation to, to that legislation, but, but clearly the but Procedures it's Committee... it's meaningless if they can vote to stop grammar schools when it doesn't affect Scotland. Well, I think they have to answer for their actions, uh, which are clearly based on an, on an opportunistic uh, approach right. in order to, to get attention and, and cause resentment in England. Okay. David Mundell, thank you for being with us. I've been